In this few minutes video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to download and run code that we have shared from We Code Make Code. First, looking at each of our blog posts, there is a section at the end where, whoops, I'm sorry. Okay, I know there is a section at the end. Okay. There it is, okay, which is called Get the Code. And there is a link that provides the link for the code. Don't click this link. So I'll, you can figure out later why you don't want to click it. What you're going to want to do is copy it. But first, we need to open Minecraft. If you, have, if you don't have Minecraft, you need to get it from the Windows Store. Next, you need to open Code Connection. And if you don't have Code Connection, it's free from the Windows Store. When you open Code Connection, you will see a connect with an IP address here. Copy it by clicking that. Then go over to Minecraft, open a world. I like I have a world that I copy called Sandbox World, which I've described in another post. And I, when I open the world, I can then open the command window by typing key, do control V to copy in the link, and either click enter or that little arrow. And then you'll notice on the screen it says connection established to the server and it gives the URL that was there before. Then you'll notice code connection down here is blinking at me because something happened. And see code connection is now open and it's giving me the choices of the languages with which I can program Minecraft. We're going to use make code. And there I have my code connection open with make code. Now there's several ways which I can get projects here. Um, I can start a new one. I can use one of my old ones. I can open one of the Microsoft tutorials. But what I want to do today is import one. Now I can import either from <coughs> my hard drive or a USB stick or whatever. <coughs> but today we're going to import a URL. Now this is the, the URL that I shared on my blog. So copy this URL, go back and paste it here, open it, usually doesn't take this long. This is this Murphy's Law getting me. You should know I have a really high speed internet connection, so I have no idea what's wrong here. Okay, now the code is open, and what's more, it's actually started it. So we could go over here and type go, and there is handy timer somewhere. There it is, handy timer, it's going. So we just downloaded code using a UR, a shared code using a URL um, that I provided in my blog. That is just how easy it is. Now that you've downloaded the code, you can do anything you want to with it. It's yours. You can chain, run it, you can change it, you can give it to somebody else, you can put it on your hard drive, you can reshare it after you've made something, do something else that's really cool. Um, if you do that, I'd sure like to know about it, so maybe you could leave a comment uh, on the blog post that described my original code. At any rate, have a lot of fun with this. Bye!